Hey there, folks. Today we're doing a cut test on the Manikala. Like, Manikala is the brand name, and it the knife doesn't seem to have a name name. It's just the Manikala. And I think it's their first design, so there you go. Um, this is a very budgety knife. This is $40. Um, it's a titanium frame lock with a compa compound grind, um, hollow ground with the belt satin finish in 14C28N for 40 bucks. That's insane. That's really, good, really, really a good deal. Um, if this 14C is good quality stuff, and we're about to find out right now. Um, the blade stock's thin, as you're seeing right here. It's um, uh, taking care of that cardboard really easily. Let's try it on the double thickness stuff. The ergos are also quite good. Um, I think this would be better without the speed holes in the handle. And there are actually uh, G10 and carbon fiber versions of the knife, which are even cheaper. I think the G10 one's like 32 or something like that. Um, so uh, you can, you know, those are available as well. I'll link them in the description. But um, ergonomics are pretty good on this thing. No, no real bad hot spots at all, and a choke up spot. Utility cuts, pretty classic drop point blade shape here, and it's doing really fine. Don't have to raise up crazy high to get to the tip. Yeah, it's not leaving anything, any part of the cardboard not cut. It's gotten cleanly all the way through. Let's try some curves. Yep, piece of cake. Great, great, so great performance so far. Which um, you know, it's very, it's real nice and thin behind the edge, so I didn't doubt that it would cut well. Uh, what I'm most curious about is the edge retention. Let's cut this rolled up glove here. Very, very good. One clean draw through the material, and it's all the way cut through. That's what we want. How about the Cecil Raup? Very nicely. It's popping it all the way through. Not leaving any strands left over. It's, uh, you know, it's definitely not crazy sharp. I can feel, um, you know, at this point, it's, it's definitely dulling a little. It's not cutting through this as easily as some other knives would or have in the past. But really not bad at all. Next up, let's do the thick rubber tubing. It's got thin geometry, so it should be good with this one. And it is. Very, very nice. And we usually do the death rope at this point. Um, but I've decided to hold that off till the end. What we're going to start doing now is do the regular cut test, how we were doing, doing it before. Uh, do the paper test, see if it survived all that. And then we'll go back and do the edge killer, the death rope. Um, and then do paper after that again so we can really see what the rope does to a sharp blade. And will it get through the strap? Uh, nope, not quite. Pretty far, though. Let's go again. Even farther. Uh, this is also another new element to the testing. We're going to be doing uh, two cuts in the regular part of the test, and then the strop. And then we're going to do the third one after the stropping. So we can see how a nice, freshly stropped blade does with that strap. And will it cut paper after the test? Yeah, it does. It's definitely a rougher cut, and it's not passing through the paper as easily as before, but it is cutting paper. So that's a pass in my mind. 14C is not known for its edge retention. And if it can uh, cut paper even a little bit after the testing, then that is perfectly good with me. Now let's try the edge killer. Will this kill the edge? I'm pretty sure it's not going to cut paper after this one. 
It actually cut it okay. I uh, left a couple strands there. Not the cleanest cut, but it, you know, made it through without too much difficulty. And that was mostly a rip. Yeah, it's not really. I mean, it, it's actually a little better than I thought it was, but yeah, it's not cutting paper. So, yep. Yeah. The edge killer, it's, it's, it's kill streak is still run, still going. I'm going to run it real softly on this stone right here. Get off any, uh, you know, microscopic burrs or, or rolls or anything like that. Then we'll give it a quick stropping. This is great, man. This is good news. That means that uh, this 14C seems to be done fairly well. Um, you know, I feel comfortable giving this knife my blessing as <laughs> for whatever that's worth. Um, you know, I think for 40 bucks, if you want a beater or a gift for somebody, uh, it'd be hard to, go, it'd be hard to go wrong with this one. Um, the only, uh, department that's really, I think, lacking in is the action. While I cannot actually fail the flipper tab, um, it's not super smooth and it doesn't give a very satisfying, uh, thwack when you deploy it. Um, ooh, check that out. Got all the way through the strap with a freshly strapped blade. Very nice. So yeah, with the action department, it's, uh, you know, the, the detent's actually good. It's more the, the acoustics and kind of the, the feeling of it. Um, because it actually, uh, the, the thumb studs work really good. The flipper tab works really good. It can be slightly sharp and, um, it is sensitive to lock bar pressure if you, or grabbing it the lock bar too hard, then um, it'll be hard to flick or flip. I mean, um, that's really the only like thing that uh, I don't like about it is uh, the action isn't satisfying, but it's snappy. So and it's weird. <laughs> you just have to experience it yourself. Thanks for watching, folks. I love you. I'll see you next time. Please like the video before you leave. Later.